Hey, good morning. Sons and daughters of God, May 6th, in baptism, Jesus in baptism. Matthew 3, verse 16 and 17 says, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him, and lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Jesus was our example in all things that pertain to life and godliness. He was baptized in Jordan, just as those who come to, tr to him must be baptized. The heavenly angels were looking with intense interest upon the scene of the Savior's baptism. And could the eyes of those who were looking on have been opened, they would have seen the heavenly host surrounding the Son of God as he bowed on the banks of the Jordan. <clears throat> The Lord had promised to give John a sign whereby he might know who was the Messiah. And now as Jesus went up out of the water, the promised sign was given for he saw the heavens open and the spirit of God, like a dove of burnished gold, hovered over the head of Christ. And a voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Jesus, the world's redeemer, has opened the way so that the most sinful, the most needy, the most oppressed and despised may find access to the Father, may have a home in the mansions which Jesus has gone to prepare for those who love him. Those who have risen with Christ to walk in newness of life are the elect of God. They are holy unto the Lord and are acknowledged by him as his beloved. As such, they are under solemn covenant to distinguish themselves by showing humility of mind. They are to clothe themselves in garments of righteousness. They are separate from the world, from its spirit, its practices, and they are to reveal that they are learning of him. If they realize that they have died with Christ, if they keep their baptismal vow, the world will have no power to draw them aside to deny Christ. If they live the life of Christ in this world, they are partakers of the divine nature. I hope you have a great day. You are a son and daughter of God.